Welcome back to another Revel Point video. Now that you all have your own Morocco, we're gonna go over some of the new features with it. But specifically in this video, the do's and the don'ts of using Morocco. As you know, the biggest new feature with Morocco is it has a near and far mode within the system, within the scanner itself. So we wanna talk about what items we can scan with far mode and what items to scan with near mode. We have three objects here, large, being the bumper, medium size would be the whale, and a small item would be the tooth. So first of all, with going over for far mode, we're gonna scan this bumper. I'm gonna get the tooth out of here for now, and the whale. So make sure you are in far mode. Just do a quick glance over at your scan settings, just making sure it's not on marker mode, and start scanning. Proper distance. I'm just doing, gonna do a quick run through, seeing that there's no issues at all using fire mode here for a, this large object, because that is the right mode to use. Pause it, and actually it's on color right now, and we can see the point clouds. Pretty nice, looks pretty good. Now, switching this, you can delete that, switching that into near mode, what's gonna happen and it's not to say that we couldn't scan something as large as a bumper with near mode. It's just gonna be a waste of time. It's gonna take a long time to get through it. And you're most likely gonna lose tracking a lot. Could be done, but it's just gonna be a pain. Let's try it out. I'll give you an example as it's switching over to near mode. Again, you're gonna have to get real close to it. Maybe start by the grill here. Oh, so yeah, it's starting to lose a little bit. And now it's twisting off into space because it can't track properly. So perfect example right there of why it went wrong. You know, experienced scanner maybe could do fine using near, but right with me doing it, it immediately lost tracking. Okay, so we just got done showing what happens when we scan a large object with near mode. Now let's actually try using near mode the way it's supposed to be used. We have the small object here, the tooth, extra details. Let's try it. So now we're in near mode, all the scanning settings, standard, feature, general, object type. Let's see how it turns out. Keeping it the proper distance. Alright, just pause with that. Now we can see the point clouds that it picked up. Really nice. That is with near mode, so we didn't do a full rotation around because the back still hasn't picked up the point clouds there. Now let's switch it over to far mode and see what happens. Seeing the difference why you cannot use far mode for something so small. Here we go. So we have to be like that far away, can barely even see it. And it's saying too few point clouds captured, so it's pretty much impossible. <laughs> it won't pick it up at all. So we just got done experimenting between near and far mode, scanning a large object, the bumper, small, object being the tooth and seeing the difference and the benefit of using the two. What about for a medium object like the whale here? Well, let's compare. I'm still in far mode. Let's see how it turns out using far mode because ultimately it's really up to your personal preference when it comes to a medium object. You could use near mode and you could use far mode, but let's just compare which one would work better for you. Far mode. Okay, so we just got done scanning the medium-sized object with far mode. Really went easy. But now, what about using near mode? Is there any downside to it? 
I mentioned earlier it's personal preference, but with an object like this with the fins sticking out being so close, you're gonna have to adjust to the curvature of the whale. Let's see how difficult that is. Starting up at the head. Again, this is near mode. On the distance bar, I'm definitely gonna be floating more so around far and too far. And that's not the end of the world. You can do that. We just have to get past these fins. It's going to be the tricky part. And the more you get the feel of it, a really experienced scanner could get a little bit closer around the fins to capture those details better, but I'm just playing it safe and staying far. All right, we're pretty much past the fins. Let's move this down. And when using near mode on an object that doesn't have, for example, like this whale with its fins protruding out, really would go pretty easy if it was just more of a straight up object. And then it would really do a nice job picking up the extra details, but just because the whale has the fins sticking out it makes it a little more difficult. But it's gonna be real nice around the waves down here. We'll probably catch, her, catch the details a lot better than far mode. Let's pause it, check it out. So we can see, just looking at the point clouds compared to uh, the near mode, compared to far mode one, picked up a lot more detail, especially around the waves. But what was the downside of it? It was tricky where the fins were sticking out because you really had to pull it out and kept it at a further distance and then move it back in when you get around the fins. So if you're looking for something a little bit easier, obviously, Far mode, easy to capture the whole thing, but then it's gonna be missing some of the details that near mode would give you.